What's up, everybody? I got my kitchen kind of cleaned up. I mean, nothing too fancy. I got the tables wiped off a little bit. My dinner's cooking in the crock pot next to us. Mmm, yummy. All right, I'm going to share this post on my personal page again. You guys, this is going to be a show a little bit different than my normal show. I'm doing something I literally have never, ever, ever done before. Hi, Lacey. How are you? We are going to make some fun little pretzel Halloween stick things. Um, so let's put pretzel Halloween stick fun. I'm going to make little treats for Kingston and Grayson's daycare. Um, I've never done this before. I'm super excited because it, they're going to be cute if they turn out right. Um, if not, they're still going to be yummy and they're kids and they don't care because it's pretzels and chocolate and sprinkles and candy. So it's a win-win, you guys. Hi, Dad. How are you? Charity, Charity welcome back. I am going to show you guys on here. You guys, whoever went on besides um, Francesca, whoever went on and started inviting all their friends, you guys, it's working. We're at 855 when I started my show, we're at 874 now. We are just climbing up to that thousand. We're only 65 away from the goal in followers. And then we're like 165 away in the likes. So that's super awesome. I am just going to show you guys what our goal is today. What we are going to make is these pretzel sticks for Halloween. I am trying to find my post that has the picture to show the fun. So here it is. We're gonna try to do this, you guys. I didn't find any eyeballs, sadly, but I got sprinkles, I have candy corn, I have frosting and icing and all sorts of stuff. So we are going to try and do it. Um, a lot of this stuff you um, can buy at your grocery store. I actually had better luck at Target. Target's my favorite place. I started there first this morning just to find my pretzel sticks because they didn't have these at the grocery store. At least I had never seen them. And I found black candy melt, orange candy melt, and green candy melt. So we're gonna do those, um, dip our um, pretzels in those. And then I have black decorating icing, orange decorating icing. We have some like, Carnival light little beads that we can use as eyes since I didn't find any. We have some just regular sprinkles, um, some orange sprinkles, some candy corn, and some licorice. We're just gonna have fun with this, guys. Never done it before. Could be a complete mess. Um, if it's anything like my caramel apples were, they were a mess, but they were good. So, no judging me if I make a complete mess. But talking about messes, I should probably put an apron on so that I don't ruin this sweatshirt. Step one, apron. Okay, got it, everybody? Aprons on. It's gonna be weird with this sweatshirt on. Better put it under my hood. There. I mean, kinda, whatever. We're just chilling today, <laughs> nothing fancy. Um, like I said, the best part, I'm making these for some kids. Kids don't care. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just yummy and it's gonna be yummy. So if you are just now hopping on, if you would share this video to your personal Facebook page, I would really, really appreciate it. We are gonna make these yummy, yummy candy pretzel sticks. So. We are gonna start. We're gonna line a pan with parchment paper. So let's find a baking pan, some parchment paper, which is, you know, just baking wax paper. It helps things um, not stick as bad when you're working with sticky stuff like caramel, icing, um, candy melt, things like that. So it says to line a sheet with parchment paper. We're gonna melt white chocolate dip chips and chocolate chips in 30 second intervals in a tall mug. Um, step one. 
test the product. It's good. Okay. <laughs> Three wants one. So, I didn't do white and chocolate. I did green, orange, and black. Those are our awesome colors we get to work with today. It says to melt them in a tall bowl or mug and stirring them in 30 second intervals. So, spoon to stir with. Um, ideally, you want to pick a cup or a mug that is deep enough that we can just dip our pretzels straight into it. So from the look of the picture, we probably want over half of it dipped. So we need a cup or a bowl microwave safe that's about that big. How is everyone doing today? Are you guys making any treats for Halloween? Are you having anyone over? I wish I had more of these. Whoops. <laughs> we got a crazy cat in the house, you guys. She's jumping into boxes, showing off, being crazy. I really wish I had more. Um, I guess we're just going to use these. Glasses microwave safe. Right, guys? So we've got three colors. I'm going to read the back of the bag. Microwave safe container or disposable decorating bag. Microwave one package of candy at 50% power or defrost setting for one minute. Stir thoroughly in container. Continue to microwave at 50% power or defrost for 30 second intervals. Okay. I know the, um, hi Christy, how are you? Um, I can't believe Rondi is 17. I mean, I want to say she started babysitting Kingston when she was 14. It's crazy. It just makes me feel old. Not super old, but like, like the world is passing me by old. old. <laughs> but I know the direction said 30 second intervals. Um... But I wanted to read the back of the bag because obviously everything is always going to be a little different. So I'm going to go off of what the back of this bag says. So we're going to do, we're going to change our microwave to 50% power or the defrost button for a minute and then 30 second intervals after that. All right. They smell good. Has anybody ever tried a candy melon? Is it good? Is it? I never it's like it. white chocolate. Mm. Okay. I don't know. My defrost button has like special pre-select buttons so I can't just do 30 seconds. Hi Alexis, how are you? Are you, do you want me to bring that costume into town? If you do, let me know. Brie, do you want to go grab that teddy bear costume off the couch? Yeah. What? I was tempted to try that on the other day until I realized how small it was. Try it on. Brie was going to try on the teddy bear costume. No. It's for zero to three months, people. Right, yeah, I just want to pick it up. Maybe a dog could try it on, but not a I'm human. I'm thinking that next. A dog. I think it's really cute and warmer than the puppy dog I had given you. And it has little paws that you can fold over the hands. So it's like mittens. And then they're, they're footies. So if you want it, let me know. I'll bring it to town. All right. So that was a minute. They didn't do anything, you guys. <clears throat> Not anything. Told me to stir them, but it. they didn't do anything. So, Brie thinks the fact that I have them all in the microwave at the same time is gonna affect them. So I'll do one color at a time, I guess. Let's try it. 
We're going to turn our cook power to 50, and then we're going to do our kick time to 30 seconds. And do it like that. Hi, Trevor, how are you? We are making little Halloween pretzel stick things. So we are going to melt candy melts. We're going to dip them in about three fourths the way into the glass. Oh, what else does it say? We're going to do that. So we're going to dip one pretzel round, dip it into the chocolate, use a spoon to add additional chocolate to the pretzel stick to coat it about two thirds to the bottom. And then we're going to top with sprinkles, candy eyes, candy corns, or drizzle with orange and green candy melts. Allow to set and enjoy. Yes. Okay. I will bring it, Alexis. We will do it. Yeah. All right. We're getting a little melted. So I'm going to stir it up. And we'll just do this color first. We'll do, um, there's about, I think she said 10 kids at daycare tomorrow. We'll just make tons. And then um, we can give it out tomorrow to whoever wants some treats for Halloween. All right, you guys. This is going to get messy. I'm ready for it. I better get um, some paper towels out. Okay, so what should we do first? We're gonna do black first. So what should we decorate it with? Let's get some examples. I'm a more, I learn by example. So let's open this, get some of these orange sprinkles ready. Smell good. Some of these candy ball things. Of course, Alexis, anything, any kid, baby boy thing that I have left that you would like, just let me know. Um, it's just taking up room in my house. So if you need it and you know I have it, let me know. Got um, those winter onesies. We've got those shoes. Tons of baby stuff. Still, even after Nikki took most of it, we still have a ton left. Um, so I want to decorate with this, but I don't think it'll ever get hard or set up. And we don't want these pretzel sticks to be super messy. So I might do what they said and like melt some more candy melts and then put them in a Ziploc bag and kind of like drizzle them like that. So we'll do that. Um, if you guys plan on doing these, I recommend getting your candy from the candy section at Cashwise. They have their own candy area where you dispense the candy yourself and then you just pay per pound. I got candy corn for a bag of candy corn for 86 cents. I got a bag of liquors for like 70 cents. It's so stinking cheap compared to um, the like pre-packaged stuff. So we're getting closer. I'm glad I tried to pick a spoon that was longer because we're gonna be getting really, the old baby spoon. yeah, really <laughs> black and chocolatey up in here, you guys. So we're gonna do one more 30 second blast and see where that leaves us. I'm gonna grab a different. Of some kind. Let's do maybe this one or this one. Let's see if that helps us a little bit. Hi, Brenna. How are you? We are making decorative Halloween pretzel sticks. So we're going to do the black candy melts first. Um, we're going to just take it slow. This is my first time doing anything like this. So we're gonna see how easy or how hard something like this is for the average mama bear. <sighs> Cause there are some of these Pinterest things that people post that look beautiful and they make sound so simple in the directions. And there's obviously a reason why they created that show on Netflix called Nailed It. Because really a lot of those recipes end up butchered and pretty wild and crazy so 
I would say our black candy melts are a good consistency. We don't want it too hot or too runny. Um, I would think it would take too long for it to set up and it would end up like melting off of our, our pretzel stick and we don't want that. So let's grab one and dunk it in and kind of give it a little twirl. All right, you guys. I'm gonna kind of just twirl it on the edge of the glass as I bring it up. Ooh, that gave it a nice little spiral look, kind of like a mummy maybe. All right, and I'm gonna hold it. Let's see if I can get you guys so you guys can see. What do we want to do, you guys? Give me some. Give me some direction. <laughs> Should we do Frankenstein monster? A Ooh, monster. Sure. They're Frankenstein monsters, so we can do that when we have our green candy melt. Ooh, you guys. Okay. Failure number one. It just slipped right off of the chocolate. So, candy corn <laughs> is not going to be our friend today. I wonder. So, we'll just set it like that, and hopefully it will dry to the chocolate so we'll do that on one side maybe and i don't know you guys Sprinkles. i know i was thinking of these but i didn't have a lid on it so like maybe you guys they're not coming out it's this okay. must not be the lid oh, for it i'll have to use the bigger side which is a little less control but all right you guys so we got our black ones going on, so we'll do a little sprinkles, we'll do, I wonder if I can peel this licorice apart, and do, whoa, <laughs> there's no seal on these sprinkles and they just went everywhere. Ah, I hope you guys enjoy this. This, honestly, this video, I just want it to be fun, um, relaxed, kick back, uh, just to show the reality that some of these things that people make are really, really hard. And I don't want anybody to ever feel discouraged about that, to stop them from making or trying to make fun things for their kids or their family or their friends. Um, because like I said, in the end, they're gonna taste good even if they don't look perfect. See, it's chocolate, it's pretzels, it's sprinkles. You find a kid that doesn't think it's delicious and doesn't care what it looks like. They're not gonna pick it up and go, mm, mom, this looks weird, or the chocolate's not right, or whatever, you know, like that's what's awesome about kids. Most adults are kind of like that too. So what else should we do? Should I try and pull these licorice things apart? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> these things are like rock hard, you guys. Oh man. Yeah, there's no, uh, no pulling the licorice apart. I wonder if I can maybe cut, cut them. Scissor. <laughs> oh man. How are you guys doing today? What's going on? Is anybody else making any yummy Halloween treats for their kids' school or a party that they're having? Those don't even look cool. I'll cut up, you guys. Let's get real here. I got some other sprinkles we can throw on there. I got some white. I have some blue. I have some gold. Lots of fun stuff. I actually joined, it sounds silly, but I joined a sprinkle like of the month company. And every month they're gonna send me <laughs> a three pack Broke. of their brand new sprinkles they have for that month. Um oh you guys it broke the other one too. Sad day. Um Can you grab me a charger? This is my phone's gonna die. Yeah, All right, you guys. Huh? I don't know. Well, we broke that one. <laughs> <laughs> Trial by fire, you guys. I am not scared. Like I said, I don't think these are gonna go to the waste even if they don't look the best. They're gonna be yummy. They're gonna be fun. Chocolatey, sprinkly. I am really kind of sad I didn't find any 
eyeballs at the store. Um, I'm already running out of room because it's a mess. Um, Bree's going to plug us in really quick so if it jiggles a little bit, that's why. It doesn't tell me. Oh. I can't see the charger thing on my side. It just alerted me that I was low. All right, you guys, we're going <laughs> to... This is my day, you guys. Just fun, silly. We're just going to start moving some of these broken ones and stuff over to the reject section for Bree to enjoy. All right, I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to keep going. wonder if there is a way that I can make little eyeballs out of whatever sprinkles and stuff that I have. So they have a really cute one. It's white with chocolate wrapped around. It looks like a mummy. I wonder if I can do a black one with like a different color wrapped around it. Nobody said a mummy is white with black wrapping, right? You guys are quiet out there. Come on, I can see you guys watching me. What's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? What is up? What did you guys do today? I'm gonna use some of these like gumball looking things and stick them on here. Should we do black and green? Somebody call out a color. We got green. Throw some green ones on there, you guys. Yeah, green. Boop. It's really hard not to lick my fingers, you guys. It's not good. It's not sanitary. But the chocolate's there. And I don't want it to go to waste. But for sanitary reasons, I'll wipe my hand instead of licking it. All right, you guys. Putting these little green gumdrop things on here. I think they're going to start rolling off of the chocolate soon. So I better get it sat down on the parchment paper before we lose control. Um, I don't know. Red. Thank you, Charity. See, that's why you won the giveaway. Because my phone knows that you participate when I need it the most. All right. So we're going to do red next because Charity said so. Um. <clears throat> If anybody caught my video a little while ago, we put dinner, ooh, green drizzle. See, that's fancy, Charity, you're getting fancy. So if we're gonna do green drizzle, we better pop these in the microwave. Um, there you go. Getting <laughs> um, if anybody caught our video earlier, we put dinner in the crock pot. We're making baked ziti. It's gonna be really yummy. It's sitting in the crock pot right next to me. Cooking on high for three hours, so it's going to be ready probably 6.37. Um, and then I'll come back on live and show you guys how to mix the pasta in. We'll cook it for a little bit, we'll serve it up, and I will put a final picture up so everybody can see it. Yeah, this worked out pretty good with the little candy corn things on it. We just got a lot of sprinkles in the way now, but that's okay. We'll just stick it to the back side of this green thing. So we're um, heating up some of the green candy melt. So red with green drizzle. So we're gonna do, I've got my Ziploc bag around. I wonder, I wish I had a smaller nozzle on this thing. My mother-in-law got it for me and it's like a little mini icing froster thing. I should see if, um, if I have a smaller nose for it so that I can use it to just drizzle stuff and not use a Ziploc bag. But we will see. I'm gonna get this green stuff heated up a little bit. So cook power to 50, you guys, and then 30 second intervals after we do it for a minute. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna have you guys scoot it over too far. All right, we're getting messy, but we're having fun. I'm liking it. Um, these pretzel stick things are going to be so cute. I know my son is just going to love them. And that is what matters most to me 
is my son being happy and excited about things that I make because he is my number one fan. He is the best and the most honest little guy you will ever meet in your life. Hmm. Let's see, we got little, um, my little frosting tips are in here. And maybe we can use this for our drizzle. This is my friend Bree's favorite tool that I have. Mm -hmm. So you just fill it with whatever you want as far as like icing or I'm going to use our candy melts. And then you just kind of push it and it comes out of here like a pen. Uh, with this light on, you can't really see what this thing is all about. It's like a little crown. So we're going to try using that. How about that, you guys? So, we'll probably have to give our black chocolate another um, 30 seconds in the microwave before we use it again. But, that's okay. We'll get it in there. We'll do black and red little candies with green drizzles. You want to know why? Because Charity asked it. And you know, I like the participation, so you ask for it, I'm gonna give it to you, girl. Here we go, cook power to 50, another 30 second punch to it. So let's see, nope, I think these, that's what um, they recommend about these candy melt things, is they take um, a long, long time, I feel like, to completely set up so you're not having this hard chocolate situation happen all the time. Um, yeah, all the fun little cooking and baking tools. Yes, you could probably go broke buying all the little cooking and baking tools. You're gonna need a Ninja Turtle looking one. Girl, you are overestimating my skills at this, all right? You already got the green. It's funny. <laughs> Yeah, you turn that green into a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> then, then we'll see what it what's it about. All right, find these red ones. Get these red guys on here, and get them ready for their green drizzle. Even though it's gonna look like Christmas tree, we'll say it's a zombie. Right, something green. Yeah, zombie guy. These balls are uh, real fun. I'm sure my dogs are going to be excited when one drops to the ground like it just did. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. All right, so we have some of those on there. I'm going to set it down gently. Kind of has a curve to it, so it's wanting to lay a weird way on the paper. So I'm going to Balance it with a piece of licorice, you guys. Just ingenuity over here at its finest. All right, mix this up. These candle me candy melts are at a good consistency. Woo, shoot, we could just green drizzle like this. Just go there, right? Two, two. Two, two. All right. Red and green. Is that me or you? Me. <laughs> All right, you guys. Ready? Charity, just for you, girl. How does it look? Just like you would ever hoped and imagined. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. Thanks, Charity. Let's do another one. Somebody call out colors or sprinkles or what you would like to see of our candy sticks. I can now do um, a green pretzel instead of just, oh boy. <laughs> instead, I am flinging green everywhere. So let's do a green stick and get, I wish I had brown because Brie wants me to do a Frankenstein and he's got brown hair in this picture but I've got gold blue 
gold or make them your own make them your own color well i'm definitely making it my own so we're gonna give him a little hat hair whatever you want to call it our frankenstein is fabulous going gray maybe <laughs> um let's cut the tips off of these candy corns and make those white of his eyes maybe little pokey eyeballs i was hoping brie was gonna help me but she's just oh, over here watching me cut eyeballs with one hand <laughs> just cut maybe the colors up so we can use them random way all right so now he's got eyes and now let's do i wonder if this stuff is still warm enough to drizzle or let's try this neat little tool um did you use like a spoon last time to fill it yeah i used the baby spoon <laughs> Gotta love works baby spoons, time. you guys. It works for everything. Baby spoons are the true MVP. That's where I stuff my baby jalapenos. Yep, she does stuff jalapenos here at my house too, and she uses baby spoons to stuff our jalapenos with cream cheese. All right, you guys. So our chocolate's in there. We're gonna do a face, a mouth. Let's pick him back up. Let's get real here. <laughs> oh, <that's my> cute <laughs> face. <laughs> um apparently frankenstein doesn't have a nose so they didn't do a nose but i'm gonna give this poor guy a nose so frankenstein what color nose do you want what color nose should we give him guys we've got what are the ingredients pretzels sprinkles candy pieces but what is the base you use? The base that I'm using are called candy melts. I found these at Target. Way easier than on like melting chocolate chips or something like that. These ones that I found at Target, they came in a bunch of different cool colors and you just melt them up in your microwave and stick them into a cup and then you just dip your pretzel into it. So that's what we're using. Um, the recipe is posted in the description of this video as well as another post inside of my page as well if you need to refer back to it at any point. Um, we are picking eyeballs out, or no, a nose out. Do you want to open those sprinkles for me? Thank you. All right, you guys. So Frankenstein with a blue nose. Let's do it. I got to turn the light off. Hold on. There he is, guys. Oh no, his nose is rolling down. <laughs> we gotta um, keep him elevated. He's got a nosebleed. Nosebleed on aisle 14. How's everybody doing, Lacey? Hi, nice. Brittany, welcome back, girl. Making little snacks for Kingston and Grayson's daycare. We're gonna do little pretzel sticks. Let's do another green pretzel up in here, up in here. Okay. Misty, yes, you're welcome. All right, Misty, Lacey, Brittany, if you're watching, tell me what to use next. What color sprinkles I should use or what kind of character I should try to make with the stuff that I have here. Um, I still have orange candy melts that I can melt up too that we haven't been using, but we have black candy melt, we have green candy melt, we have orange sprinkles, we have these little gun drop things, we have candy corns, we have orange sprinkles, we have blue sprinkles, we have white sprinkles, we have, Everybody I said candy corns already, we've got these like round sprinkles, we've got red and black licorice, I tried to cut those up, they didn't turn out too well when I cut them. Did you open this for me yeah, yet? It's awesome, I just didn't want to open it thinking it was closed and go haywire. All right, so I'm coming up with this one next. We're just gonna do kind of a party sprinkle up in here. Ta-da! Lacey, Brittany, come on, you guys. Throw something at me. We gotta make these for the kiddos. So it's tell terrible. me what colors to use next. I am gonna heat up my orange candy melt. And away we go. All right, Brittany, Nick says colorful sprinkles. Nick, you got it. I did it. I read your mind. Colorful sprinkles right here, kid. Um, if I make enough of these, I should probably ask 
your guys' teacher, Nick, if I can bring them into class on Friday. I don't see why not. Mmm. I wondered if they were like gumdrop flavored, <laughs> but they're like almost like everlasting gumdrop. Lacey, don't work while you watch my show. I'm just kidding. Hey, Lacey. I love you. Okay. So it's not really chocolate specifically, Brittany. Okay. They're candy melts. I got them at Target. And they are used best for things like this for coating cake balls, coating pretzels, coating things are what these are used best for. Um, I am microwaving them on 50% strength for a minute, stirring it up and then doing 50% strength with 30 second intervals um, until it's a nice consistency. You don't want it too melted or um, it'll really drip off and things won't stick to it. You want it um, kind of a thicker way and it's really easy to use. Tell Brian to bring me one for the road trip tomorrow. <laughs> I'll bring you 20, girl. I'm gonna make this whole bag today. Um, Lacey, I'll have them all eaten before I get to the road trip part. Whatever, she ate something and spit it out. So you guys, there's something in here that's not good. Um, oh, I liked the licorice. It was good. It was a little hard, but it had a good flavor. Um, so I'm stirring this candy melt with a pretzel at this point because I have run out of clean stirring things in my vicinity. It's working, so don't judge me. All right, I see somebody has called out a color. Let's see what they said. Shannon, black cat, green eyes, black licorice. Ooh. Ooh, okay, I wanna cut those licorice up. It just didn't work out so well, but Bree's got the scissors now. So we're gonna have her try and cut up little tiny whiskers. So we're gonna do black with green eyes. So we're gonna, the spoon is making a mess. All right, what are you looking for? Just thinking. Okay, she's brainstorming. Um, wait, no, because I did this, and now the, the, um, the whiskers won't show. So let's do an orange cat with black whiskers, green eyes. Black cat, green eyes, black licorice whiskers. I'm worried we can't, we aren't going to be able to see the whiskers, so I'm going to do an orange cat with black licorice whiskers and, and green eyes. So. Boom, she's got the whiskers ready for me. And so I've got my green eyes going on. Thank you guys for spitting out some more colors and stuff. I will get to it once this pretzel is done. So we've got black cat, green eyes, black licorice whiskers. Didn't even know they had them. Yes, they are a really cool um, little neat thing. If you use bark as well, it's called chocolate bark. That melts really well for things like this. Um, I will cut you, Brie, if you eat them all. You will ride on the top of the car. Hi, Nikki, how are you? Okay, orange dipped with black drizzle. You got it, girl. Like 14 accepted my end. I'm telling you, girl, Francesca, you did it. You are gonna get us to that thousand. It doesn't take much, and you are probably gonna put us over the edge in a good way with, um, with those invites. All right, I'm trying to figure out what I was doing. I put green eyes on this, but I forgot we were doing an orange cap because of the black whiskers. So I'm doing some, doing another kind of mummy wrap thing. It's kind of like a, a zombie mummy. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap his backside a little bit so that he's got even chocolate wrappings on him. Here we go. All right, so there's another one. We gotta move some of these sprinkles to make sure we don't cross contaminate. <laughs> All right, orange dipped with black drizzle. I'm working on melting our orange right now. I don't know what happened to my orange pretzel that I was stirring with, but we're just gonna grab another one. This goes already. Oh, you guys are broken. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon, evening, whatever time it is. My kids are taking a nap, so I'm adulting. Kinda. Oh man. Cuttle down, you guys. Alright. We're gonna microwave that for another 30 seconds. At 50% power, you guys. 
You don't want to do 100% power with your microwave or you will have burnt, burnt candy melts. All right. So we're going to do... Maybe a Frankenstein one? I tried. You want to see my Frankenstein, oh, Brittany? Yeah. Mrs. Frankenstein. Mrs. Frankenstein. Um, those are her eyes and her nose and her mouth. And then this is her gold, fabulous hair. Mm -hmm. So I tried. I don't have brown sprinkles for his hair, her hair. I don't have eyeballs. I couldn't find eyeballs at Target. Cash-wise, nowhere. No one had eyeballs, you guys. I don't know why or what the hay happened, but no one had eyeballs for me. All right. I just... Sucked it up and dirtied another spatula so that I wasn't breaking more pretzels. All right, you guys, our orange is ready. So let's go back. We're going to do the orange cat. And then we're going to do the orange with black drizzle. <laughs> yeah, she's super fancy, Brittany. Don't you, don't you fret. We've got Frankenstina, whatever you want to call her. Friend of, no, because we got a Francesca watching, and she's not a Frankenstein's wife. Yes. Francesca. <laughs> um, all right, oh, so we're spinning this. So we're doing orange, cat, green eyes, black whiskers. Brie, you got my whiskers ready, girl? Three right. to a side. Three to a side, she says. All right. <laughs> all right, we're going to eyeballs. Green eyeballs. I like those. Those are nice. I'm going to start to stick my hand. So we're going to do one whisker. This is a delicate process, you guys. He is. These are hard to cut, too. There we go. Yeah, they are hard to cut. I got thinner. Dipped my hand in the chocolate. All right, we got three whiskers on one side. Oh, I liked that one. Okay. Kind of tapered. Eh, I, I don't know. We'll grab him. Maybe he's got we'll an do extra it. whisker. <laughs> we put that whisker there. That whisker. That whisker. Oh, give me ears. Ears, you're probably too heavy. Yeah. Um. I can put little white. Little white ears yeah, on our orange cat, you guys. All right. He's cute. He is cute. Who asked for the orange cat, you guys? Are you ready? Hi, doodles. How are you? Um. Where is our orange cat request? The black cat, Shannon. We got orange. We got an orange cat. Green eyes, black whiskers. He's cute, you guys. All right. So, let's put our kitty cat down and get our next request. I think Brittany was next. Orange, oh no, Alexis. Orange dipped with black drizzle. All right, let's get another pretzel going on here. Orange dip. With a black drizzle. I'm doing kind of a spin technique a when I get pull the chocolate out. So, love it. Thank you, Shannon. I almost knocked the chocolate over. Thank you. I'm glad you like the kitty cat you requested. All right, so we're doing orange with black drizzle. Candy melt, I think, has hardened in my thing. Darn it. <laughs> I have a bunch of doggies at my feet, being kind of crazy. Yep, we're gonna have to microwave our black again. All right, cook power 50 for 30 seconds. Get that black melted up again. Ooh, stuck to my finger though. I have a spoon here with some black on it, so I am just gonna drizzle it like that. That's why I quit licking my fingers, guys, and started washing my hands more. So that when I did this, I wasn't being gross about it. The rest of the black cardant, but I'm getting there. 
All right, so doodles, you love it. Thank you, Shannon, you love it. Make a wiener dog. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, kind of hard. Um, a wiener dog would be expert level uh, pretzel making, and I'm just not there yet, doodles. This is our first time, first timers up in here. So we are doing the best we can with what we have. Ooh, that was a big one. Oops, looks kind of like Tigger. I like it. We got a tiger up in here. Got these dogs behind me fighting. I feel like they get super feisty when there's food around. It's like they're secretly battling for it. All right, orange with black drizzle for Alexis. I appreciate you guys throwing out some colors and some designs that you would like to see. We're getting some good pretzels because of it and I appreciate it a lot. All right, so let's scroll back up. Orange pumpkin, green stem with a face. All right, girl. Orange pumpkin, green stem. So let's do the green First, we're gonna take this green. Uh, I should have just another piece of parchment out. You want me to in Where's the front of me? Just cut a piece of this. I'm just put a little bit in front of me here, so I quit drizzling on my thing. Um, now I want chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah, they are, taste really, really good, mm -hmm. actually. Um, what I like about the candy melts is they're almost like a vanilla chocolate, so they're um, really good and sweet. Thank you, Bree. All right, so we're gonna try a pumpkin with a green stem. So I'm gonna do them upside down, if that makes any sense. I am gonna do, because it's, I'm gonna move this green around. Okay, then we're gonna dip it in the orange this. I know both the dogs are wrestling fighting over there. I think Carter keeps waiting for you to drop some frosting, I think. Well, she'll get it. She waits long enough. The green with black spider. It's a good one. Alright, just need to add a little bit more green to our stem part. Couldn't get it dripped into the cup deep enough cover the little gap. All right. So we're going to do this. So we got our pumpkin going on. So we want a little face. Green monster with horns, blue sprinkles, green with black spiders. Hi, Jillian. How are you? All right. So pumpkin and we want a face. So let's do, I like these things. They're nice and small. For a face, maybe? No, maybe we should do candy corn eyes, but lay them flat, kind of like you would carve a pumpkin, those triangles. All right, and then we need a nose. What should our nose be for our pumpkin? <laughs> Got orange already. What should I use as the nose, you guys? This is hardened. I <laughs> can't use it anymore. Um, nose. Nose, nose, nose. Blue nose. Pumpkin with a blue nose. And let's get a cool mouth here. Really kind of disappointed in my candy picking at the store. Didn't do very well. So let's do um <laughs> let's try this one. All right, who wanted the pumpkin with a face? We 
got orange pumpkin, green stem with a face, Michelle. Let's turn the light off. There he is. Little pumpkin with a face. <laughs> All right. Scroll this back up. Supervising chocolate covered pretzels, green monster with horns and blue sprinkles. All right. So we want move these over a little bit. Okay. So we want a green monster. <laughs> Actually, what'd she say? <laughs> you saw me make that smile. Thanks, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. It turned out really cute. All right, so we're going to do a green monster. I have short-term memory loss, you guys. Green monster with green monster with horns and blue sprinkles. All right. So we're going to spin, spin, spin this in the chocolate. We probably have to heat up our green again soon. Green monster. Blue sprinkles. We haven't gotten to use these yet. I think I have a blue one open. Yeah, but they're blue and white, so we want all blue. <laughs> I don't think Kush could get any more in the corner underneath. Right here, there is a dog. <laughs> right underneath me. He has found the sweet spot for um, things to drop off of my decorations. All right. Blue sprinkle green monster yep see right on top of his head blue sprinkle um blue sprinkle green monster with horns yes all right let's get some horns mm. yeah what kind of horns do we want to do you guys maybe cut those in half horizontally oh, okay. they're just too long he is now laying on my foot, you guys. Yeah. All right. All right. One horn. Kinda horn. Two horn. All right. <laughs> Green monster, blue sprinkles with black horns. Okay, we got that guy going. There we go. Now we need green with black spiders. Ooh, Shannon, you are just challenging me today. All right, so we want green with black spiders. So let's get this. Oh, I need to heat my green chocolate up some more. It's breaking my pretzels. Oh, there, I can make a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Let's see. I should be able to just be a little more gentle with it. I just don't want to reheat it too much too soon or it'll be too runny when I want to put decorations on it. So I am going to let this hopefully isn't too thick. I'll be able to coat it. All right. So we got green and we're going to do little spiders. All right. You guys, it might sound like a silly question. Let's see, I haven't caught up on these. All right, candy horns. Hi, Christy, how are you? Um, love it, Bailey, Brittany. Hi, Crystal, how are you? Um, all right, so we're gonna do spiders. I need help, you guys. How many legs does a spider have again? Six or eight? Eight. Eight? eight? Bree says eight. If she's wrong, you There's guys, octopus. call her out if she is wrong. Um, did this get cleaned out? Yeah, I shook it a little. All right, I think I'm going to heat my black up one more time. And then I'm going to pour it into my little Crayola crayon thing. And then we will do spiders. I am heating this up at 50% power for 30 seconds when I heat up my candy melts. You guys are being out of control. I can hear her giggling over here. <laughs> Um, something about auntie. Oh, yeah. oh, all right. We got black sprinkles. What do we, oh, green with black spider. You want spiders, right, Shannon? Do I have orange in my hair, you guys? Oh, man. 
That's how you know we're really cooking. Eight. There's eight, right? Bree sat there and laughed and said an octopus has eight. And yeah, a spider doesn't. Eight, They're all saying eight I for a spider. Six, and I said eight. They. I said eight. Oh my god, you guys. Did Bree say eight? I said or eight. Or did she say six? I said eight. Nope. We're gonna see. We have it. Re video recorded. People can rewind when I'm all done and they can call you out. Doodles, <laughs> help me. I said eight. Well, you didn't clean it out, you ding dong. Oh, she said she cleaned it out and she left my nozzle full of black stuff. What kind of assistant is she? How am I supposed to make my spider? I mean, I supervise. Um, I am going to use a toothpick and see if I can get a little more precise with it. All right. One. Two. Cement. She said eight. Okay, Brittany, I believe you. Riley, I always want to tell you you're right, but you said six. She said, Bree okay. said I did. No, yeah! I, asked, <laughs> I said, is it six or is it eight? I didn't know either one. So I didn't say it was six, but I asked if it was six or eight because I am not going to lie, and I didn't know at all. I didn't either. I just said eight. I had a guess. My two guesses were six or eight. I don't know about them because I don't like them and you can't see how many likes they have after I smash them with my shoe. <laughs> so I don't know how many little leggies they have. How's everybody doing tonight? Did anybody make a crock pot meal? I went on and made our baked ziti for tonight with spicy italian sausage so that's going to be done here in like hour or so not too long it's okay doodles i love you anyway yeah brie about broke my ear drum yelling with excitement about the fact that she was right right for one <laughs> all right so i'm doing little spideys yeah okay we rinse it out don't worry that the I water just will. Yeah, yeah, that's why I didn't. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. This may take a while, you guys. These little spideys, I tell you what, they're not turning out too hot. But they kind of look like smashed spiders, which is where they belong to be smashed. Um. Uh, just kidding though. All right, so we're doing green with black spiders. Now you have me questioning it. <laughs> uh, yes, one smash, they're really hard to tell you guys. And I'm not gonna look or count. All right, so we have a green with black spiders. I wish this toothpick would draw my legs skinnier, sharper, whatever you want to call it. But I think Brie should not be able to comment when in the household. <laughs> Actually, quit talking to me now. <laughs> whatever. You guys egg each other on. Oh, yeah. That is true. Doodles, how are you? Are you off of work? I know it's hard for you to catch me when you're at work. So I would assume you are off work and able to watch me now. All right, you guys. They don't really look like spiders. I'm just making sure they have eight so that nobody yells at me <laughs> for not having eight legs on my spider. My dad must have gotten tired of watching us, but he would have been right there with the answer laughing at me about why I didn't know. He was laughing at me yesterday for being directionally challenged because somebody hit our mailbox on our road while they were um, cleaning the ditches and I needed to call the highway department to let them know and um, the lady was asking me what direction on the road I lived and my dad was laughing that the lady and I basically got in an argument about it but I was right. 
So I was pretty happy about that because I am super directionally challenged. Okay, because I never start, looks good. I'm home waiting to carve more pumpkins. Hi, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you're laughing. All right, you guys. So here's our black one with little black spiders crawling on it. Um, I'm going to do one more spider and then I'm going to give it up because they're getting worse and worse <laughs> as the chocolate gets harder and stuff like that. So we got black with green spiders. Dad, do you have a pretzel that you would like me to see, try to decorate? Um, so we've got candy corns, adorable pumpkin, questioning it. I think we have run out. That one's your favorite. Thank you. I like it. It's cute. Um, that one's awesome. She's my favorite. Frankenstein. I think those were all of our requests that we had gotten so far. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we need to at least do eight more because there are ten kids at daycare, and we want them to all at least have the same number if they want to be able to eat them. I'm gonna heat up both of these again. Fifty percent power, you guys, for thirty seconds at a time. Um, what else? What else? Um, we've got tons of sparkles. I guess I could have tried this stuff too. I just don't think it'll dry. It's pretty cool though. Kind of fun. I got uh, black decorating icing, but I don't know if it would have hardened like this um, candy melts do. And I think that the harding, hardening part of the candy melts is what is most important, especially if these kiddos are going to be eaten at daycare. Yes, Brittany, you do. I plan on just trying to make this whole bag. There's not a whole bunch of them left. And I figure if I have extra, the people that are watching this video and live in town, I can just kind of carry them in my car. I got a little treat um, bin for them at the grocery store. I just throw them in there and have them in my truck to um, hand out to the parents if I run into them at daycare or school on Friday or whatever. What's everybody doing tomorrow night? I am old and a mom and it's gonna be so cold here. I don't even wanna go trick or treating my poor kids. Thankfully, they've got this party at daycare. So um, they at least have something to do tomorrow if it gets too cold to go trick or treating. Mm -hmm. What did my dad want? Uh, oh man, good luck. <laughs> One that looks like a wooden vampire steak with dripping blood, That's so <laughs> age appropriate. <laughs> Um, yeah, I wish I had gotten red. I don't have anything red except the licorice, and it's rock hard. Cut it in strips, no? Um, and there was a cute one. Somebody had done a broom, and it was really cute, but I don't know how they did it, but it was kind of fun. <laughs> Brie and I are both brainstorming over here. Well, I haven't done these sprinkles yet, so I'm going to come over here and... At least throw those sprinkles on there. I'm gonna scoot some of my creatures and goons and goblins over to stick that one in there. Got our black here. Let's dip another one in here. I don't get any kids in my neighborhood, so you're going to a friend's to hand out candy. Wrap your flyer around them, right? I can't believe Austin didn't want me to have my flyer out, you guys. I made a flyer to promote my Facebook page. Um, you know, just give people the details and how to um, find me on different social medias and what I'm all about and stuff. And I'm not allowed to hand them out at Kingston School. But he did say he was going to put them on the bulletin. So that's good get one out on the bulletin so that people walking by can kind of see it. All right, let's do this with some orange hair. So we got some orange hair going on. Let's get some eyeballs. Oh, eyeballs. 
balls are wanting to fall off. Hi balls, let's do a little, let's do some orange sprinkle things as the nose. Oh no, my eyeball's falling, you guys. See, and I wish you could just like move Halloween to the weekend. I, th I know they were talking about it as like a global decision to move <laughs> Halloween to always land on a weekend. A week of your debate. But I don't think they ever got anywhere with it. But it's just so cold here. And they do indoor stuff, but sadly they just don't get enough people to participate on the other end of it so like not enough people handing out candy or buying candy and whatnot because they do it at the mall but sadly most of our stores at the mall are closed down they do it at the auditorium but like i said the amount of people that go to the auditorium compared to the amount of people that provide candy for the auditorium it's just kind of packed and you literally wait in chairs until your number is called and you can go in and get candy. So it's kind of hard with kiddos, especially them being two and four. They don't understand why they can't just get up and run around. So, um, <laughs> so we made another one. Nick says dipped green dipped with orange sprinkles. You got it, dude. I can handle that. Green dip, orange sprinkles bless you Bree's over there sneezing she's polite she runs into the other room if she has to sneeze or blow her nose or do any of her things because she's allergic to everything in this world so no matter where she goes potpourri. the potpourri I don't have any potpourri going today so mm -hmm. she's just allergic to the world mm -hmm. alright green dipped Orange sprinkles, buddy. You got it. Oh, that's the room idea. Yeah, I can put it on the end of it. Yeah. All right. So we do black with, or no, orange, or what color? Chocolate. Orange or green? Oh, I didn't realize I was out of the screen, you guys. Sorry. Orange sprinkles. Green chocolate. Okay. All right, let's get these guys over a little bit more to dry. All right, so we're gonna try this broomstick idea. We're gonna do orange, and then Brie has meticulously cut out little strips of black licorice for me to try and wisp onto a broom. I love it. Playing with Legos, shouting stuff out for me <laughs> to make. So I'm gonna do extra chocolate on the tip of it so that it has something to stick to. Then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move you over so you can see that we've got another kind of working station over here. So I'm gonna kind of line them up. So as I roll the pretzel, they will hopefully stick to the bottom chocolate that I have added. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. We're just kind of doing fun little crafty things. I told Kingston's daycare, King and Grace's daycare lady, that I wanted to make them some treats for their party. So here I am doing my best, me, making little treats. It didn't work very well, yeah, it's hard. but I am fixing it so it looks a little bit better. We needed longer licorice things, but you get the idea. Woo! I don't know what that was. Kind of <laughs> licorice? <laughs> So, we've got a little black licorice stuck to the end of our pretzel stick. I'm going to try and hopefully it'll dry well like this. we got to scoot our guys over again. They're all getting nice and um, stiffened and hardened. Um, 
I forgot I did him not long ago. So he is still a little wet. Got a broom there. Do the best we can. All right. Anybody else? My dad and his wooden steak and stuff. Um. All right, you guys, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Four more, you guys. And that's about how many full ones I have left in this bag. The rest of them are broken. So we're going to stick those in the bag. And we're just going to do the rest that are not broken. Oh, that one's broken. He's a guy. All right. How is everybody today? been a Wednesday that's for sure but good news our mailbox got fixed after it got annihilated by city workers mowing our ditches for us they came by today and fixed it so that's fun and exciting I can keep receiving mail which is always good um, so we have one candy corn one let's see if we can get some more candy corns on here maybe they were just so heavy before they fell off so fast. But Cardi's over here being boisterous and it's making her mom nervous. She's making Gage nervous. <laughs> oh, Gagey, my little Gage. He's an old dog, so he is, doesn't like being riled up about stuff. Crabby. He is kind of crabby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we were losing it. Here we go. Just a nice green one with some candy corn slipping off of it. We'll set it down as fast as we can to stop it from losing any more corn. Uh oh. You guys, I almost ruined my spider one. This corn one is heavy. How heavy is it? Yeah, I'm almost gonna. Bree's gonna have to hold it <laughs> till it dries. Maybe blow on it without any spittle coming out of your mouth. Get the hair dryer out. Yeah, it'd be too hot. It would melt the chocolates. All right. What else, you guys? What do we got going on? How's everybody doing? I'm going to tell you guys I probably should have said it earlier when a few more people were watching and paying attention. But I am doing um, a goal for us. Tomorrow night by 1030, I would like to hit a thousand likes on my page if we hit a thousand likes by 10 30 at night we don't have to be live we don't have to talk about it i'm just going to look at my page at 10 30 tomorrow night i'm going to just set a little, little alarm to look at it and if we get a thousand likes by 10 30 i'm going to do a giveaway if we get a thousand likes and follows i'm going to do two giveaways this weekend so I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. And when you jump off of this video, <laughs> go over. Man, these chocolates don't want to say. Go over to my page. They're going to all fall off. Hit the community link. <laughs> it's not going to work. Hit the community link on my page. And invite all your friends, you guys. We want to get to 1,000, and then I will do a giveaway. If we get to 1,000 likes and follows, I'll do two giveaways. Our last giveaway winner got a set of mixing bowls with lids and a $60 gift card to a restaurant of her choice. That is me showing my appreciation for the love and support that you guys have been providing to me on this adventure. This is a dream job of mine. This is a passion project. And the amount of support that I have received thus far has been amazing, so appreciated, so phenomenal. Um, and I just want to show my appreciation back to you guys by giving stuff away. So if you guys, when you are done watching me, make these <laughs> ooey gooey pretzel stick things, um, go over and like all your friends and family to my page. And this was a disaster stick, you guys. Um, invite them all to like and follow my page. Popcorn ball. So that we can win some stuff. You just go over to the community section. My iPad's about to die, but I will show it to you super fast. So, when you have your Facebook pulled up, that didn't matter. Okay, 
when you have your Facebook pulled up, you're going to go up here to the search bar. You're going to type in Mom Fueling Hungry Boys. You're going to go over to the Community tab, and right there, you will see Invite Friends to Like the Page. You will have a full list of friends. I don't because I have invited everybody already, but you can either hit Select All and Invite, or you can go through and pick and choose grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, friends, whoever you think would benefit from this page. Um, you can invite them personally or just invite everyone all at once. And then when we hit a 1,000, I will do our giveaway like I did our one the other day. And it's going to be exclusive. It, exclusive. It's going to be to the people that are paying attention and listening to me on a daily basis. I will post a status on my page that will say giveaway. And then it's your job as a follower of my page to go on there and comment or like on the giveaway post. And then by doing that, you will be entered in to my giveaway. <clears throat> I usually give 24 hours from the time that I post it to the time that I do the giveaway. And then after the 24 hours I go on live, I enter all those names into the giveaway. And then we see who wins. Last time it was slim, it was you had a 1 in 30 chance. I would say those are really good odds, especially considering that we're doing a giveaway for 1,000 likes and follows. And to have something as little as 30 people to... Um, beat in this giveaway I would say it's kind of fun and exciting so go invite all your friends and family to like and follow my page I would really appreciate it um, I appreciate all of you guys who take the time to hang out with me on a daily basis um, who give me ideas who talk to me hang out with me tell me about their lives and their kids and their family and their food um, share recipes with me give me advice give me guidance I appreciate all of it all of you all the time thanks for hanging out with me during our fun little arts and crafts thing I hope you guys learned what to do and what not to do if you ever plan on decorating pretzels or you would use candy melts to decorate cake balls as well um kind of just a little crash course and something like that so um thanks for hanging out with me guys it's time for my kids to get up from their nap so i will post um some final pictures of our little pretzel sticks and post a um, picture of our yummy dinner that's going to be done soon thanks for hanging out guys bye